Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome to IIUMFM, your campus radio. And today with me, your DJ Nia. Uh, we're now by in Beauty Beats, where we're going to talk about everything related to beauty, of course. And hi ni, kalau korang present like. I'm kind of lonely because I'm alone right now. So, but my co-DJ uh, is not around because she has another thing to do. And sedih lah, seorang je dalam hujan kat luar tadi. So, uh, with here, I have my guest together, um, which is Haida and also Fikri. Hi. Okay, hi. Hi. Yeah, hello. Hi Fikri, hi yeah. Aida. Hi. Okay. So hari ni kita akan cakap pasal outfit of the day. Or basically anything about fashion as well. So, uh, Haida. Yes. Can you introduce yourself a bit? Hi, uh, I'm Haida Halid. Uh, first year student, uh, currently ma- majoring in communication. Okay, how about Fikri? Okay, hi, I'm Fikri. You can call me Piki. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so, uh-huh. I'm a first year student and I'm majoring in psychology. Alright, okay, nice to meet you guys today. Thank you so much for hari ini. Okay, so um, basically our topic today is about outfit of the day where we're going to talk about fashion just like how I said just now. And from here, I know, from what I know, fashion is basically a popular or the latest style of clothing, hair and anything related to it. So basically, kita can go through everything um, pasal our outfit, like tips and uh, inspirations re- uh, related to the topic by our, and kita can, can share from our guests as well. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. Sorry. So uh, we're going to be back again after this. Uh, Jump to the lagu Rock by by Anne Mary. Welcome back to Beauty Beats. Okay. So now, kita, since we introduced our topic earlier, uh, it's much. It's very exciting to talk about this topic sekarang. So Bob. Um, I get to know more about the fashion from our guests specifically so but Rani memang uh, well known figure <laughs> I guess <laughs> you're related to fashion especially Haida <laughs> okay so uh, Haida what do you think about fashion um I guess for me uh, it's very like a very significant it's mm-hmm. very important mm-hmm. love for me. I think mm-hmm. dari dulu lagi, I ingat dari kecil lagi, it's, it's been such a part of my life. Mm-hmm. I've grown up in a house full of sisters. I don't have wow. any brothers. Best, yeah. So my mom pun was was quite fashionista juga. Yeah. So <laughs> I feel like it's it's very much um my life is just perangkap dengan fashion. <laughs> no matter what it is, so I have a lot of uh, you know cousins who are female as well. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not sure lah sebab. Which um, I don't have brothers, so I don't mm-hmm. know. Like from a male perspective, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, fashion too is how big. But as a as a girl, I feel like it's very important to me, and it's mm-hmm. uh, everyday life. You know, pagi pagi, malam sebelum tu dah get ready. Yeah, what what am I wearing apa. tomorrow? <laughs> you know, have I worn this before? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very important question, I think, for me. Yeah. Yeah, betul betul. Basically, kalau perempuan memang macam tu lah. Mm-hmm. Before malam tu kita dah fikir dulu yeah, apa nak pakai kan. kan. <laughs> Do we have the picture in our mind? Yes. Thinking what we're going to wear tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Okay, itu daripada perspektif perempuan. How about Fikri? Fikri. Macam mana dengan lelaki pula actually? Hmm, actually macam uh, memang kontras lah dengan Haida. Okay, kontras. Sebab <laughs> tu lah. Kenapa tu? Uh, Sibling semua lelaki. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> okay, lelaki. perfect. Yeah, perfect. So, macam, <laughs> mm, kan, macam fashion in appearance and uh-huh. appearance is uh, matter, especially for first impression. Uh, betul. So, macam fashion ni memang signifikan lah, macam penting lah untuk uh-huh. first impression. Macam, contoh kalau untuk interview pun macam uh-huh. sangat penting lah, macam tu lah. Even in the perspective for men as well. So, oh kalau macam perempuan kan, kita rasa macam kita kena nampak cantik. Like, mm. it's a must for us, betul tak? Like okay? an expectation. Yes. Yeah. Uh, kalau macam lelaki kan, ada satu yang macam they don't really care about it as long as uh, janji aku ada baju nak pakai. Uh, macam tu. Uh, <laughs> tapi, uh, not semua lelaki mm-hmm. macam tu lah. Faham, faham. 
mm. ada yang macam pentingkan appearance. appearance. Okay, alright, I see. Well, that's a good start here. Okay, um, how about um, okay? Sekarang kita ada banyak gila trend going on right now, mm. betul tak? Mm. So um, for me, ya, yeah, I perasan sekarang ni um, I somehow rasa macam we're going back to the past. Yes. yes. The punya uh, fashion sense dia macam dah balik balik to 70s yes. and 90s, betul tak? Yeah. Okay, so itu yang I rasa. Okay, mm. how about you guys lah punya thought about the current trends or besides uh, trend yang back to 90s, 70s ada tak trends lain yang kurang perasan? Mm, anyway, I rasa macam sama je macam vintage yang macam ulang balik. Dah ulang balik. Ah, ulang balik. It's like macam rotating. Yeah, rotate. Mm. Macam uh-uh. my mum pun cakap lah macam okey ah uh, dulu pakai macam ni juga macam uh-uh. uh, oh muda pun sekarang pakai macam ni juga. Tapi mama saya selalu nampak kalau macam ada kan sekarang ada bandel-bandel yes. punya baju yeah. tu yes. kan like very vintage one. Mm. Like kalau my mum nampak dia macam itu baju aku pakai dulu lah. Mm. Just, yeah. Kenapa ada lagi sekarang yes, macam yes. tu kan? Okey how about Haida? Yeah, it is it's kind of interesting to see mm-hmm. that because in a way macam uh, it's going back to the past but you can also tell not uh, tak banyak orang akan pick up on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's about fashion is very it's it's so different for everybody, you know? Okay. Like as as a person sometimes one day you're like I want to wear vintage clothes mm-hmm. and the next day you're like no, I want to wear something <laughs> more into the modern yeah, times. Yes, but exactly. uh, thrifting now and bundle is like It's. I feel like it's exciting mm-hmm. because you you pick up something, you ambil something. Macam, banyaknya history dalam ini. Yeah. Ah, uh, di sejarah belakang tu, and it's cheap, mm-hmm. which is something I think as students kita orang especially. I, I think uh, students especially is like bundle is like heaven. Yes. Like, oh, so cheap everything. You know, pergi mall pun macam dah tak. Not just that. Best, okay? uh, not just that. Menyelam banyak yeah. lagi best. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Okay, um, since kita dah cakap pasal trend, dah cakap pasal fashion So, looking here to you guys right now, I can see that korang memang betul-betul presentable You have your own sense of fashion Macam Haida, mm. macam mana, how how do you uh, define your uh, look? How do you define your OOTD, your fashion sense? Mm-hmm. I guess, it's very diverse it, mm-hmm. it, Memang hari-hari dia akan bertukar-tukar <laughs> uh, Sometimes, I akan ada satu face yang memang very casual Mm-mm. very uh, not bright colors very neutral Mm-mm. i don't really go for um loud colors sometimes but then there are times where i would you know i would Mm-mm. want to not color yang bright and i not pakai something i've never worn before ataupun <laughs> i can go to very um malas macam you know just like street wear uh, yeah, yeah. macam uh, malas-malas you know comfort <laughs> chic macam tu uh, that's wow. yeah Okay, kalau fikir pula macam mana? How do you define your OOTD, your look? Simple, tapi Simple. sweet. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, macam, play with the colors. Oh. For men, uh, macam, macam, tak perlu nak banyak-banyak. Mm-hmm. Macam, mm-hmm. macam, perlu play with the colors je. Macam, perlu pandai match uh, colors. Mix and match. Uh, mm. Yeah, mm. mix and match. Sebab yes. cakap kalau perempuan, we have tudung, we have shirt, we yeah. have seluar, mm. we have shoes. Like everything must be in coordinated kan. Macam yes. tudung kalau hitam, baju kena kali ni. Uh, macam lelaki, it's more simple. Yeah, more simple. Tak complicated macam perempuan. Okay, um, pernah tak uh, like ada hari yang korang rasa macam you're not into your mood? wear anything, I mean like uh, nak bergaya, mm. basically apa yang korang buat untuk uh, selamatkan situation? <laughs> Do you get me? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. Haidah macam mana? Uh, senang je, bagi jubah je. Bagi oh. <laughs> jubah. It's yeah, like, yeah, betul, betul. saver of all kinds. Betul? Like saron je. Yeah. Kalau ada lelaki macam mana? Simple, semua orang tahu. Can play card and budget. <laughs> Seriously? Ya, yeah, yeah. ya. Yeah. Saya pernah pakai dekat library tau Pergi kan library, kan pakai Ya, yeah, lepas tu kena Kena, kena, kena halau <laughs> That's hmm. a brief move right there <laughs> Memang Okay um, What else? Uh, I think um, Korang rasa macam um, How do you guys feel if someone uh, Questioning korang punya fashion sense? Do you think it's a big matter to you? Mm-hmm. Kau macam mana? Fikri? Macam mana? Mm, I don't... Tak. Tak apa-apa macam... Tak so, kisah apa. Mm, tak rasa affected pun. Because macam... They have their own view. Mm-hmm. Dan mm-hmm. macam... Kita kena respect orang punya view. Yeah. Faham, faham. Kalau Haida macam mana? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Sebab kan... Mungkin orang pun berlainan. Mm-hmm. And we accept that. So macam... 
sometimes it's just better to just you know if we're both the same then what's the difference mm. ah, you know yes yeah. exactly betul that's why kita kan cakap tadi kan cakap pasal bundle oh hmm. lupa nak tanya where do you guys usually salam like Fikri are you into bundle as well yes oh, sometimes oh, sometimes yeah. okay <laughs> so selalu you korang menyelam kat mana bundle-bundle ni Especially Aida. Aida mm. kan macam kat KL kan? Yes. You see in KL, right? Yes, you see So macam kat KL banyak gila kot bundle. Yeah. It's... Like KL bundle is... Actually, is a, only a selected few mm-hmm. yang you are going to put good stuff. Mm. Yeah, usually in central KL, there's one really near to KLCC. Mm-hmm. Which is actually pretty far <laughs> to say. Macam, oh, dekat KLCC is like... It's pretty far, bro. <laughs> it's pretty far out. But like... Um, there's one in KL called Family Bundle, uh-uh. but that one's pretty famous. So it's like you have to go at the right time. Uh-huh. Usually you have to be really close, um, I guess, um, in contact with the owners. Uh-huh. You know, bila baju, baju baru masuk. Oh, macam macam tu. Ah, bila baju baru masuk, okay, sure. oh. okay diorang bagi a, a week or a date. Uh-huh. You go in the day diorang keluarkan pergi. Oh, so the only day you can go lah, macam yeah, tu. Yeah, if you go any other day. Terlambat, mm. all the good stuff are gone. Wow! Because f- like bundle is is not only for you know us, it's people from all different kinds of backgrounds. Mm-hmm. You know, families especially go to bundles. Yeah. So when like six six members of a family go, mm-hmm. your chances are gone. You're like <laughs> alamak, okay, <laughs> they're under embed. Betul betul. Okay, how about Fikri? Bundle mana yang selalu selam? Bundle, mm-hmm. bundle ah uh, jarang pergi. Jarang Memang jarang pergi. Kak Kelly pun tak pernah pergi lagi. Uh, So macam selalu pergi memang selalu pergi macam butik macam tu lah. Wow, uh, class. <laughs> sebab tak biasa so, nak cari baju dekat uh, bundle memang susah. Mm. Tak jumpa yang class. Dia kena yes. pandai selam. That's why yeah. it is called selam kan? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're going to get back to you guys again after this. And now with you, Haris J. Assalamualaikum. And that was Glad You Came by The Wanted. And you're now tuning in. I am UMFM, your campus radio, back with Beauty Beats. Okay. So, tadi um, was a great discussion. Kita orang cakap pasal bandel, pasal uh, how do you define your OTD, your fashion, and all the stuff related. Okay. Now, kita nak tanya pula. Uh, Haida, yes. where do usually you get your outfit from besides bundle yang kita cakap tadi? Mm, usually Uniqlo. Oh, that one is the best. Uniqlo. Yes. Okay. The best is Uniqlo. <laughs> Actually, right. I, I, I rasa, yeah, that's the only place I usually mm. get my best. Hashanam tu semua ke tak? No, yeah. Yelah, Hashanam pun dia... Dia akan really. milik nanti. Mm. Ha. Nah. <laughs> Kenapa yang kita pilih Uniqlo? <laughs> <laughs> okay, kalau fikir lah macam mana? Uniqlo juga. Uniqlo juga. Okay, kita kita buat free review sikit lah. Okay. Sekarang ni kenapa <laughs> korang pilih Uniqlo? Uniqlo. Uniqlo ada macam sweet tau. Dia punya baju simple. Mm-hmm. But macam sweet lah. Macam nice. Nice untuk lelaki nice kan? Lelaki. Perasan juga macam untuk dia punya, dia punya design apa semua. Dia punya semua. design, dia punya material pun okay. Oh, hmm. Sebab tu mahal. <laughs> 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 Kalau Haidah pula macam kena, kenapa Uniqlo? Ah uh, yeah, it's it's simple. Is it the color yeah. Thing, is it? yeah, it's also there. There can sekarang ada yang Hana Tajima, oh, yeah. which is which is great yes. for uh-huh. it, especially the ones yang kita orang pakai tu dong ni. Um, it is expensive, uh-huh. but I am a long time fan, so uh-huh. I know their tactics. Uh-huh. <laughs> so they can every weekend they are uh-huh. to offer. Yeah. Oh. And you have to be a member, so. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Tahu. Thank you, you for telling. Kalau you member, you get all the. You know, every weekend kalau balik. My mom's like, Uniqlo? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Uniqlo? Uniqlo? I'm wearing Uniqlo right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so, Uniqlo telah ambil dia jadi ambassador, yes, okay? Yes, so I'm trying to say Hana Tajima. Okay, besides that, um, you memang korang suka Uniqlo je ke? Tak ada any recommended shops? Kalau macam Fikri? Ada, oh. macam brand outlet, macam... Ya, uh, uh, brand outlet, buy yeah. free fifty ringgit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's a must, kan? Yeah, it's a must. <laughs> besides that, Besides, um, macam... Sebab lelaki punya brand ni, um, dia tak berapa nak nampak sangat. Yeah. So, kita nak korek sikit. What else? What macam, any other brands? Ya, yeah, macam High Style pun okey juga. Uh-huh. Kadang-kadang... High Style? Ah, High Style. Never heard about that. Never heard. Hmm, sebab saya perempuan kot. <laughs> okay, High okay, style okay, so apa? So, macam... Uh, kadang-kadang Giordano. Ah, Giordano yeah, more like formal punya yeah, kan? Ya, formal punya. Mm-hmm. My dad pakai brand tu. Yeah. Selalu kena teman dia shopping kat Giordano. <laughs> Okay, uh, Shahida, any other shops yang you boleh recommend besides Uniqlo? Hmm. 
Oh yang, yang yang fits kita punya uh, appearance as a girl wearing hijab. Um, I guess it's 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 actually quite hard actually. Mm-hmm. I find it quite hard, mm-hmm. especially macam fast fashion and H&M mm-hmm. and um, I don't know monkey or whatever. It's hard to find stuff as macam you know Muslimah. Uh, appearance wise lah mm-hmm. um, but you can work with it Some I I go uh, in between Uniqlo or Cotton On mm-hmm. usually because Cotton On punya prices are quite well mm-hmm. they're really good um, in terms of fitting a Muslimah image it's all up to your effort mm-hmm. to Betul. fit into that image yeah. yes exactly True. so sebab kita cakap pasal benda tu tadi ala-ala nak tahu juga what do you think about Sharia compliant in doing fashion Sharia okay. compliance mm-hmm. Hmm, what I think macam So macam perempuan uh-huh. Syarat yang kumpulan memang macam Very related kan mm. Sebab so, kena menjaga benda-benda yang patut dijaga Kalau uh-huh. lelaki macam mana pula Kalau lelaki Kalau lelaki macam Tak perlu nak apa sangat sebab dia macam Okay for example lah Macam uh-huh. contoh kalau Syarat yang kumpulan sama macam short pants uh-huh. Dia macam tak begitu sedap di mata orang pandangan huh? macam ada macam lagi pun macam short pants dia macam untuk sport attire mm-hmm. something like that macam untuk sleepwear mm-hmm. yang satu macam uh, yang short pants dia macam kalau nak fit dengan baju dengan shirt apa dia macam susah tau dia nak match so mm-hmm. macam kalau untuk syariah compliance uh, means importance importance dia macam sometimes macam pernah dengar tak uh, lollipop analogy tak pernah. Tak pernah. Tak pernah. Oh, eh, eh, yeah, 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 kalau yes. terbuka, dia jaga semut, semut. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, something like that. Uh-huh. Faham, Sometimes macam... So, it was kalau, the well for yeah. boys as well, eh? Ya, yeah, okay. macam contoh tu kalau expose kan. Uh-huh. Dia macam bila expose, dia macam lebih more to... Expose to a disease or something like that. Mm-hmm. Contoh kalau kita pakai short pants atau kalau kita stumble atau jatuh... Luka, Luka. Uh, Okay yeah. Faham faham So basically Syariah compliance Dia tak berapa Complicated lah For guys kan yeah. As long as you Tutup apa yang patut Ditutup Then it's fine yeah. How about for you Haida Apa mm-hmm. you rasa Pasal syariah compliance in, Untuk perempuan Macam kita Yang pakai tudung ni uh, Yeah It's very important Important Kita mm-hmm. orang Muslims You know But it's Also very I rasa challenging In in this day and age To Memang. be Syariah compliant mm-hmm. Especially Uh, with like kita orang Malaysia sekarang ni banyak influencers are coming up and yeah. they're all very very big fashion icons but it's rare to see one completely sure a compliant or yeah. some or at, at one point being that's the right way Mm-mm. to do it i mean you have you have you know multiple uh, i don't want to you know mention any names but in, in as time goes on it it gets less Mm-hmm. Syariah are compliant I want to say So in 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 a sense Kita orang Kalau nak fully Syariah are compliant All in your hands mm-hmm. It's on your Based on your effort juga Kalau you tak ada effort Untuk cari Macam for me I I don't just look at These Malaysian icons I go Even as far as Western icons You know Saudi Arabia has mm-hmm. A lot of fashion icons yes, Who so are 100% Syariah are compliant mm-hmm. And It's based on your effort on it, Untuk jadi Syariah compliant fully I think kita orang Alhamdulillah Syukur in IIUM It's, it's yeah. very easy it's to blessing follow Untuk yes. kita fit in this kind of situation kan? So kita tak ada isu sangat with Syariah compliant and stuff mm-hmm. So We're going to be back again And Now Lebih sempurna by Syamil at Elf oh. To Beauty Beats Okay we're now uh, Moving towards the end dah pun But we have st- we still have few questions nak tanya ada benda lagi yang kita nak borak-borak kan lagi. So sekarang ni I nak tahu. Okay, since apa yang I tahu lah from what I know, mm. Fikri is one of the cast uh, of Theater Terasing, betul tak? Yes. Yang baru-baru ni uh, baru je live. Okay. Betul. So uh, I nak tahu apa? Uh, how do you? Eh bukan 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 macam tu. <laughs> how uh, does uh, OOTD or basically your outfit, your appearance uh, affect you as a cast? Apa kepentingan dia? Kepentingan importance of uh, OOTD. Appearance, uh, OOTD, your look for as a cast. As a cast, uh, you know kan macam untuk acting kita kena ada character mm-hmm. in character in something contoh mm-hmm. macam ai uh, waktu tu uh, as a lelaki misteri you know lelaki misteri mm-hmm. is something like macam you know misteri misteri as uh, related to mysterious and uh, 
dark uh, something like that uh-huh. so uh, OTD macam outfit so uh, kenalah pakai dark untuk dapatkan yeah, the character dapatkan the character untuk pakai kena kena pakai uh, semuanya macam black colors mm. macam trousers black shirt black uh-huh. something like that so macam barulah ada sampaikan message yang I'm the lucky mystery. Mm-mm. Yeah. So that is how you present yourself as a, uh, as a cast lah kan? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kalau Haida pula, mm-hmm. since you're a communication student, yeah. so basically you akan communicate dengan people ramai gila, mm. betul tak? Yes. <laughs> yes. So how does your OTD uh, affect you as a student? I mean like as a communication student? Um, I guess, yeah, it's right. Kita orang communicate a lot with people. So our appearance sangat penting in a way where kita orang kena portray kita orang ni seorang yang reliable mm-hmm. seorang yang sangat approachable mm-hmm. and in a way attractive not macam senang mata dipandang because oh, yeah. sedap mata dipandang yes you want orang mm-hmm. to macam be attracted to uh-huh, uh-huh. what we're trying to communicate yeah. yes yeah. okay what are you doing terus kan I said like most of my friends we're, mm-hmm. we're all in communication mm-hmm. and it's funny because sometimes in between friends you got mm-hmm. fashion communicates you in a way mm-hmm. hari-hari kalau I tengah tunggu untuk kawan I mm-hmm. sa- satu-satu kan turun we will wear something the same oh. tudung baju <laughs> that one day tu baju semua sama <laughs> janji I'm, ke? Yeah, I macam naik atas tukar <laughs> naik atas semua tukar gigi <laughs> lah gigi memang kita orang macam Okay, we don't have time. We, ha- we just have to go. <laughs> Memang malu lah masuk macam nasyid. Yeah. <laughs> Mahabai kat situ macam, okay, it's alright. Tak apa, buat bodoh je. <laughs> Best lah, perempuan dia bila dia dah bond between friends dah kuat. Yes. Eh. Dia punya fashion sense macam dah, dah, dah melekat sama-sama. Yes. Eh. Yeah, uh, the chemistry. Yes, it's not the, the chemistry. chemistry. Yes. Okay. <laughs> hmm. And also, Fikri, uh, since you're a psychology student, how do you think uh, OTD they relate dengan um, psychology? Uh, honestly macam Psikologi dengan OOTD macam Mm-mm. Tak ada relation pun Tak tahu lah <laughs> Macam tak tahu apa relation dia macam Tapi uh, mm, Rasanya macam OOTD ni macam psikologi kan macam uh, You know uh, macam Cara orang berfikir Ya yeah. mm-hmm. uh, So Mm, uh, actually, I tak tahulah <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, it's okay So basically macam uh, Soalan dia macam nak tahulah Macam uh, macam mana kalau uh, OTD ni uh, How you wear uh, How you uh, Apa ni You portray yourself With your clothes And uh, benda-benda macam tu Macam mana it relates to psychology tu Basically macam um, Apa yang buat orang fikir Based on apa yang you pakai uh, Something like that lah Kalau you rasa macam it affects lah Macam kita dah cakap awal tadi kan But how do you think macam daripada psikologi punya perspektif? Since you belajar pasal uh, apa ni, orang punya behaviour kan? Ya. Yeah. So, behaviour. Hmm. Behaviour memang apa tu, uh, affected by cognitive. Mm-hmm. So, bila macam perception. Perception mm-hmm. is about uh, macam parts of cognitive. Mm-hmm. So, bila... Paris macam tengah revise CFS. <laughs> 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 okay, kita okay, teruskan, uh, teruskan. Cognitive. Cognitive uh-huh. ni macam, dia macam perception. Bila mm-hmm. kita perception terhadap sesuatu orang, contoh, contoh macam dia punya pakaian yang macam, mm-hmm. dia punya appearance macam contoh, dia pakai, uh, pakaian dia tak berapa nak menarik, macam mm. tak menarik dipandang mm-hmm. macam tu dia akan rasa macam perception tu macam effects lah macam behaviour contoh macam uh, bila behaviour dia macam ok uh, dia tu pakai macam tu rasa macam uh, dia macam tak baik lah macam tu mm-hmm. so tak kawan dengan dia macam tu mm-hmm. ha, itu effect dia tu the psychology behind behind this, uh, oh, OTD okay. itu yang kita nak dengar semua yeah. tu yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so uh, besides that, kita dah nak habis dah session kita ni. Let's okay to wrap up. Kita nak tanya sikit. Um, Haida, yes. what is your special tips uh, regarding doing fashion ni? Special tips? Um, <laughs> I guess... Um, I I think in terms of fashion, kena rajin. Mm. Uh, it's... It, It portrays a lot about you mm-hmm. when you care about how you look. Yeah, totally. um, a lot of people will say maybe it's vain or maybe macam you're so into yourself conceited or, or stuff like that. But it, it portrays a lot. Your t- my tip is to just, if you are okay with how you look and you're comfortable, that portrays a lot of confidence. It puts in a lot of confidence in yourself. Even it's just 
honestly follow what you want to wear mm-hmm. as long as it's sharia compliant mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah just don't care about what other people are, are are saying you need to wear this you need to wear that but mm-hmm. what you wear it will portray your true self mm-hmm. in a way but i agree with that okay how about fikri okay i have the same tips uh you know uh when fashion we have to confidence mm. Mm. tak kisahlah apa orang nak cakap mm. kena confidence dia macam kita nak pakai tu okay confidence memang betul macam tu kita nak pakai mm. so macam tak perlu nak kisah pasal apa orang akan cakap macam eh kau pakai macam tu kau ingat apa handsome ke macam <laughs> ha, tak perlu nak kisah macam kita kena ada confidence lah. contoh kita nak match colour macam tu ikut confidence uh, sometimes macam kita macam ada macam contoh macam uh, figures ni macam dia punya pakaian tak ada nak match mana pun tapi nampak style nampak mm. dia ada confidence bila ada confidence dia akan ada macam satu You know, ugly diri. Mm. Ha, oh, you know, macam tu lah. Bila nak fashion, kena berfashion, kita kena ada confidence. Confidence, confidence tu penting. Betul. I agree with that also. So, basically, to summarize our topic today, go out there and just figure out whatever you nak pakai. Go for it. Jangan malu, jangan fikir apa orang fikir. Yep. Just be yourself mm-hmm. and just do, just wear whatever you're comfortable in and you're good to go. Yes. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you very much, Haida. Thank, thank you. you very much, Fikri. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, I survived alone today. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Karan, so what to mind. And we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.